What's up guys, welcome back to another video where today we're gonna to be going over five more things that you should know in RuneScape 3, but maybe you didn't. Now, of course, these things are things you should have known. So you may know them in here, so if you do, then it is what it is. But if you didn't, there's usually some stuff in here that I've just learned recently too, and so hopefully you guys learn new things as well. But if you didn't, then please do comment something down below that you think maybe others wouldn't actually know about, but probably should, and then I'll include you in the next video too. If you enjoy the video, do leave a like, sub to the channel, if you are new around here and otherwise let's get started shall we okay so number one is brand new to me as well and was actually submitted to me by a viewer so yeah or yeah whichever one it is i'm so sorry if i got it wrong thank you very much this one's all thanks to you i appreciate it now this is for elite dungeons if you guys do a lot of elite dungeons like myself uh, you've probably been in a situation where when you've been going back into the dungeon and it asks you if you want to continue you may accidentally press no when you're not thinking about it you're trying to rush and then you think oh frick i've just ruined the whole dungeon so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and i'm gonna make a little bit of progress i'm gonna show you guys that you actually don't have to panic it's not the end of the world you are okay now i thought that once you make a little bit of progress and you accidentally press no that's it it's wiped you have to just live with it it is what it is there's nothing you can really do about it so we're gonna open this door here and i'm gonna show you this is not the case we're gonna go back to walls retreat i'm gonna make our way back here now that this door is open and we're gonna press no and see how we can reset this and bring it back I have done this way too many times. I've ruined it for groups. I have ruined it for myself. I've had to start it again on stream. Freaking annoying when you're just outside the ambassador or something and you do this. So you click on here. Do you, would you like to continue where you left off? You accidentally press no, maybe using a mouse like me, and you fat thumb the wrong option and you press number two instead. And you're like, oh. you see that and you're here and you go, ah, oh, you are joking. Great. Thank you. And then you click normal mode because you start again. You don't, 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 do, just just click off. Go back. Would you like to continue where you left off? You can, you can press yes. And it's fine. It's open. The barrier will open in a sec. It, it's, wh what the frick? I didn't know this now. Most, some of you guys are probably face farming right now going, of course. Well, what do you mean? You haven't clicked the option yet. I thought it erased it immediately. I thought as soon as you press no, that was it erased. It was gone. I would have put money on this. I'm sure other people probably as well. So thank you for sharing this. This probably saves some people and it'll save myself in the future quite a bit of time. Okay, so this next one is something that is incredibly useful for you guys that don't have either the max skill portal or you don't have kills on bosses that you want to fight and you can't use the portals here. So what this is is something I've mentioned on stream a couple of times as well because I, I get this question quite a lot on stream or maybe I'm taking someone to kill a boss that they haven't got the kill on and you can actually get there without having the teleport here nice and easy to most of the newer bosses at least, right? So you can use your grouping system here and I have mentioned this in the past, like I said, this is fine because it's just the um, things you should already know. You use the grouping system here, you make yourself a group. So let's actually just leave this so I can show you how to do this. So you click the little plus button to create a new group and then if you pick a boss from the from the list down the bottom here any of the newer bosses the this will work just fine with the older ones some of them don't work for example car fight king won't work god was dungeon one does work but it'll only take you to a certain point it won't take you to the actual uh, out uh, inside god was dungeon so there's things that you you know you need to you need to consider but you can use this for also angel grats on the greater ricochet holy hell um but you can use something like Raksha, for example. If you haven't been to Raksha yet and you haven't got a kill, to get to Raksha is a pain in the ass. You have to go all the way to Anachronia. I'll just show you. You've got all the Anachronia. The Lodestone is here. And then you've got to make your way all the way around to where Raksha is up the top here, right? And then you've got to kill the boss. And if you don't kill it, you die. Then you're going to go all the way back and you've got to run the whole way again to be able to kill the boss again, to get the boss portal. But if you just make the group, Make it set to Raksha. So we're going to do this now. Make it set to Raksha, Raksha, Raksha. Wait, I can't see it. Why well, can't I see it? What the hell there? View selected. Update group. And as soon as we update the group, we just hit ready. Watch what happens when we hit ready. It's going to come up saying, your group is ready. Complete group. And then it'll say, do you wish to teleport your group or mark your group as complete? Teleport all group members, which is just you, of course. And it will teleport you right outside of Raksha's door. If you've done the mini quest for Raksha, this works. If you haven't, I think you, you, you will have to do that to be able to get here. But otherwise, you can get yourself here and you can kill the boss over and over again until you actually get the portal. So if you haven't got the portal, you can do this. It works for Carapac, it works for the Arc Glacier, it works for all of the God Wars bosses. Uh, it works for a few of the God Wars under two ones as well. So take advantage of it. There you go. 
Next up is something that took me probably way too long to actually learn about, but I've been using since. And everyone should know about this. Like, really, really you should. But I know some people don't from the coaching videos that I've done. So we're going to talk about it. Now, the actual um, eating your food thing. Some people will bind your food here and you'll make a key bind, right? You'll you'll set that on your key bind and you'll drag the food that you're eating onto that. And you'll you press the key bind and it eats the food. Happy days. However... A better way to do this, because if you change your food in different presets, maybe some use solid food, maybe some use blubbers, you know, this sort of thing, then you're going to have to keep swapping that keybind around. If you upgrade food from one point because you're getting a high level or something like that, then you're going to need to swap this around. But if you go into your health tab and you go to the constitution tab here, if you find the first one, it is called eat food. It's an ability called eat food. So if you drag this onto the keybind, what it will do is it will check your inventory for any food whatsoever, it doesn't matter if it's uh, if it's a selfish soup or a rocktail or a blubber jellyfish, for example. I'm gonna take this out as well. Uh, it will eat whatever is available to it. So if I press my keybind now for eat food, you're gonna see it eats the jellyfish. So we're gonna get through that. It'll eat all of that first, and then if I use it again, it's gonna eat one of these two. It eats the rocktail soup, as you just saw, and then if we do it one more time. It will eat the rocktails. So you don't have to keep switching in and out the actual food that you that you have. It'll just find the next one. This doesn't work for brews. It doesn't work for any potions like that. You also have to bind those, as you can see. I have these bound here. It would be nice if there was a way to include that, because quite often I put a cider and brew in, and then if I bring super cider and brews to say like Zuck or something, they won't. It won't work. So it, it will be nice to be able to switch that. But otherwise, uh, yeah, have the eat food key in, instead of the actual item that you want to eat. It's definitely a lot better. Next up is something that I was showing. Oh, I, I did it on stream. Literally, I think it was yesterday or the day before. And someone was like, what the frick are you keep? Why do you keep doing this? And then when I explained it, the next thing was, holy crap, that's next next level. I didn't even think about this. And it's, it's helpful as hell. So now this is in here. So... Thank you to, to you for making me realize how big of a deal this is because I, when I found it out, I had the same reaction, right? I had the exact same reaction, but I forgot about it since. Um, and now I had to, I don't know. I just didn't even think about it. But if you are using ability queuing like me, you can press an ability and then you press another one and you're going to see that it still queues around like this with a little circle, right? If you are phasing a boss, let's say Telos or Raksha, where you are running through, it's kind of like a little cinematic. You can't move your character. It is what it is. If you still have ability queuing on and it's selected an ability like this, the second your target can becomes available again, the second your character is usable again, he is going to fire that ability. Now, maybe you don't want that to be the first ability because you're phasing. You want to maybe apply like Smoke Cloud or something. Maybe you want to use a different ability first because it's important. It tells us it, it, this is important. It really is, uh, especially at higher end rages. You want to use things like a bleed, not like a bleed, like an ice barrage instead or something like that um, to, to, to break stuns and whatnot. But if you have ability queuing on, it's screwed. What can you do? Like, it's going to force another ability as soon as you actually get back control of your character. However, if you right-click on your actual action bar here, number three is my magic bar. If I, let's say, I use Asphyxiate. It's easy. I get 20 seconds, right? Asphyxiate is now on your my ability queue. That's the next ability that's going to get used. And I'm phasing, and it's like, oh, crap. I don't use Asphyxiate again first. Please don't do this. If I right-click and press three again for my magic bar, it's going to refresh that and it's going to take away my ability queuing. You can do this while you are phasing. You can do this when you don't have control of your character. It is absolutely fine. You don't have to worry about it. So if you like, if you press an ability and then you're about to phase and you press another one and you, you, and you end up going back and you've got that ability queuing on, just right click, reload the thing and it will be absolutely fine. It, it's not a problem. Just change the ability bar, bring it back and, and you're good to go. You're golden. It won't interrupt it. It won't force a different ability. I use this a lot. It helps. Like I use it way more than I even realized. So this could be useful for a lot of you guys too. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is dual wield magic versus two handed magic. Now, of course, I have a staff of armadil here. So this kind of doesn't apply to the staff of armadil. But for anybody who doesn't have one of these yet, it is quite important to know. And I get this question all the time on stream as well. So I figured it was worth throwing it in here. It's important to know that that dual wield magic is actually now a lot better than two-handed magic. Now, in the past, it didn't really matter. If you had two-hander, if you had dual wield, the, the difference wasn't really anything important. But they recently released the... Well, recently, it was with Karapak a, a while ago now. Great Concentrated Blast was released with Karapak. Now, Great Concentrated Blast makes dual wield a hell of a lot better than the two-handed version. In fact, if you have the tier 85 dual wield weapons, which is the Elder, the Cywe and Elder wand and orb which are these two here let me put some stuff away i'll grab them out 
if you have these, you are better off using these weapons with Great Concentrator Blast than using a Staff of Saliske, as far as I know. I know for a fact it's better than a Noxious Staff. I am 99% sure it's better than a um, Staff of Saliske as well. The, the spec from the Staff of Saliske offers you nothing, and the money that you spend on it could probably be better spent in other places, uh, even if it is like a tiny bit of difference in DPS. It, it, Great Concentrated Blast is just, like, just too, too good. It's just way too good for what it is. Of course, once you get a Staff of Armadil, that goes out the window. The Staff is better if you're just going to Staff Camp. And of course, again, if you are going to Fortic Auto Attack, then you want to have both anyway. But if you're not going to Fortic Auto Attack, if you're just going to use just, just either Dual Wield Magic or just the Two Handed Magic, get Great Concentrator Blast and get yourself uh, these, these two weapons here, and you are good to go until you either have Seismics or until you have a Staff of Armadil. Because it's just too good great concentrated blast is that good it really really is so for the people who constantly ask and are absolutely fine to ask us as much as you want to uh it is better yes to have dual wield magic and great concentrated blast than it is to get a noxious staff or to get a staff of saliske so that's where you want to be that was our last tip for this video and there we go, that brings us to the end of this one, guys. I appreciate your watching. If you did find something new in here, then please do consider giving the video a like. And if you aren't subbed to the channel and you like so content, then do subscribe. And also check that you are subscribed, even if you think you're not, because there's a lot of people who do think they're subbed, but aren't. Also, final thing to mention, um, I have recently started Patreon as the ad revenue on my channel seems to have crashed and burned for some crazy reason. Not just the January thing since November last year. Uh, so that does help out a hell of a lot. Thank you to you guys that have already joined and subscribed to that. Uh, thank you, channel members, as well. You, you, All you guys support the channel so freaking much. It helps out an absolute ton. removes a lot of stress. I appreciate it so so much but anyone else who would like to help support the channel there is the join button by the sub button for channel members and then there's also the patreon as well where you will get some extra stuff and i'm going to be making some extra content there too that's for members only but other than that thank you all so so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one see you later guys bye